Hi, Brainwork family. Um, thanks again, as usual, for using Brainwork. Um, so today I would like to introduce you to our Nova AI blogging assistant, uh, which will be coming out in the next few weeks. And I'll be going over that with you today. So initially, uh, the feature will be able to be accessed in two ways. Uh, right here from the dashboard uh, will be the first way you can access it. And then you'll be able to access it right in the editor, um, right under the assistant. So the assistant tab is here, and then you'll have the chat here where you'll be able to chat uh, with, you, with your article. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. So let me get back to the main. So you'll notice here, uh, you'll have your chat history here, all your favorite prompts and, and the suggested prompts that we have right now. And I will have much, much more to come as, uh, as the Nova AI assistant is actually trained and tailored to be able to help you be better bloggers, be better writers, so you, so you can get more done, get more traffic and become full-time bloggers. Um, so again, I'll get into the details as, as the, some video goes along. So, so let's start off with the basic chat here. I can say, hi. How are you? Just to get the conversation started. And you have to excuse me. I'm not the best typer um, when I'm recording. All right. So I can say, give me some quick titles about email. And a short hotline. All right, so now, so the Smart Navigator is actually, uh, it's a plet it's a group of tools, it's, it's a number of tools that use a lot of different AI models and things like that. Um, I don't want to get too technical, but um, it it gives you access to the web and so much more. And by so much more, I mean it gives you analytics information, um, and it will be. It gives you SEO information, keyword information, um, document comparisons, article comparisons, um, competitive research, and a whole bunch of things. So we're going to be adding much more backend features to the smart, smart navigator. So for example, I can say here, I'm talking about the keyword, uh, best tax savings tips, right? I can, I can go ahead and say that. So it's gonna give me, actually, nope. So so without this, it, it, it's gonna give me what it thinks. But if I turn it on, right? And then let me do that again. I forgot to turn on the smart navigator. Uh, best tax savings tips, right? So let's do that. So that gives me the actual real-time data, right? So I can say um, include some related, oops, can't type keywords. So, so I did that. So now I can, let's say you have an article, right, that you've already written, and uh, you want to see how optimized it is for SEO. Um, so I can go here and just put in my article. So let's say I have this article on one of my websites. Uh, so I'm going to check it for SEO. All right. So it's going to it's going to do its thing. So it's giving me all this um, SEO information that I can go back um, and review, and I can even tell it to summarize it for me if I wanted to. Um, so now I'm gonna go and so I can say, hey, um, tell me what's my top competitors, so I can so I can put in the same URL I was using, uh, and then I can just remove the. So these are my top competitors and the keywords that we have in common. Uh, 
and I can even ask, uh, see what keywords are driving traffic to my my website. The URL is all right. Oops. Remove that again. So it's telling me what keywords are driving to my website. All right, so, so I can go on and on, ask different questions. And again, uh, these are the suggested prompts that we have. Um, I'll be sharing in the next up incoming videos more things, the smart navigator and the AI can do together, um, as you can use uh, Nova to be able to um, get more information, uh, do analysis, um, get keyword extraction, and then be able to compare your articles to the top ranking articles, and then be able to improve them um, in real time. And again, like you know, this is, and this also is connected to the web, so I can say, uh, "What's the weather right now in Dallas, Texas?" And Again, you know, it gives me real time information. Um, and um, also, you can even use uh, um, the Nova chatbot to fact check your article. And I'll show you that not in this video, but in an upcoming video. So, uh, so let's um, take a look at a different uh, scenario where it's even more useful. Now, for example, if I'm working on an article, you know, I can pull up the Nova chatbot right here. And so, this is all the different settings but the most important thing is uh, if you wanted to look in the editor uh, you can turn it on so um, by looking in the editor now it's looking at all the content on this page um, if I don't want it to look in the editor I can turn it off but for example I can say please if I like to be polite to Nova write a short meta description for this article, can't spell. Oh, let's see. Make it pictures uh, on this. Okay, I guess what type of Images should I include? Oh, I forgot the S. All right, so I can now. Um, uh, generate the seventh heading and paragraph. And, and you don't have to sometimes so all these are different prompts that I'm using you know sometimes like I'm more descriptive a descriptive than not uh, so for example like I can say so I have uh, six headings right now so I can add a seven to expand on it for example right so now it's gonna give me a seventh heading and it really expanded as you can tell so I can go here you'll see that I have it so there's a so now I have a seventh heading I'm gonna need to shorten this, but this is pretty long. So let me spin this out a little bit. Um, so let's go back. And again, if I wanted to, um, and I want to keep this video short, um, I'll I'll get into the details of uh, these other use cases here. So for example, so I have this article here. Um, I can actually go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so I can, oh, where I can go and um, and compare the, uh, the top, or one of the top ten posts against my article, and ask Anova to tell me, hey, um, 
compare my article to this top 10 article and tell me what I need to improve on in order for me to rank as high or higher than the current top article. So I'll give you, I'll show you how to do that on the next video. Um, and again, as, uh, as I said before, this feature will be available in the next couple of weeks. Um, this, uh, the feature will be available as far as the chat. It will be ab available in all plans, and that includes lo lifetime plans and, and subscriptions. Um, and the smart navigator will be available on our legacy pro and agency plans, which are now the new grow and pro plan. So the grow and pro plan and the legacy pro and agency plan will have the smart navigator. Um, but, uh, but everyone will have the chat across the board and just the smart navigator will be available on the higher plans. So if you're a subscriber and um, you're on the, uh, the legacy basic and starter plan, um, it I'll suggest that you uh, upgrade um, to the grow and pro plan as th those pl um, plans are now are now much affordable uh, much more affordable um, and are available now so again um, I look forward to all the new videos I'll be creating on actually how to write a complete blog post from beginning to end um, using the um, AI assistant and all the use cases and you can use it for to, uh, to be able to help grow and scale your blog um, and thanks again. Till next time.